people know about type 1 diabetes which comes in children where children have to take lifelong insulin injections three or four times a day. Of course, all of you are familiar with type 2 diabetes which usually comes in adults but can come at a younger age group if uh, children are overweight or obese, uh, have a faulty lifestyle, put on too much of weight, they can get type 2 diabetes also in the young. But what people really do not know about is rarer forms of diabetes which are called as monogenic diabetes. Now, what is monogenic diabetes? As the name itself implies, these types of diabetes occur due to a single gene defect. We have thousands of genes in our body, but if one of them which is involved in insulin secretion in the pancreatic beta cells is affected, if it is mutated, then you can get some types of diabetes which are called as monogenic types of diabetes. Why should you know about this? Now, first of all, what are the types of monogenic diabetes? One of the most common is what is called as MODY or MODY, maturity onset diabetes of the young. This itself includes some 13, 14 different types of diabetes and in MODY type diabetes, there is family history of diabetes goes through three or four generations. The father or mother, grandfather, grand, great grandmother, or great grandfather, it goes through several generations before it comes to this child or young adult. Many of these forms of MODY are mistaken to be type 1 diabetes and I have seen many such children where they have been advised lifelong insulin treatment thinking that they have type 1 diabetes. But when we take the family history and then when we do the genetic studies, we diagnose them to have forms of diabetes like MODY1, MODY3 and uh, certain other forms of MODY as well where they can respond to tablets. So we are able to completely stop the insulin and change the child or adolescent or young adult into uh, tablets and it's like a miracle as far as they are concerned. The second common form of monogenic diabetes is what is called as neonatal diabetes. As the name itself suggests, this occurs in neonates that is below six months of age, sometimes up to nine months or up to one year of age. So in any child who has been diagnosed to have diabetes before the first birthday, we would recommend a genetic test to be done because if they have certain mutations in the ABCC8 gene or in the KCNJ11 mutation, these children can stop insulin and be converted to tablets. And we've had several such children who have been able to stop insulin and for them it's like a miracle going off insulin. In order to increase the awareness about monogenic diabetes in our country, on the occasion of the World Diabetes Day 2021, we have established a center for monogenic diabetes at the Gopalapuram Center of Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Specialty Center. The Madras Diabetes Research Foundation, which is the research unit of our institution, is based in Siruseri and has all the genetic facilities to carry out such sophisticated tests. There are very few centers in the world which are completely devoted to monogenic diabetes and it's our hope that all over India, if there are children who have monogenic diabetes, they can be referred to our center and we will do the necessary genetic tests to see whether insulin can be stopped and they can be changed over to tablets. So if you have any such patient that you know of, any such child, do write to us at the email ID which is given here or contact us at the telephone numbers which are given at the end of this video and we would be happy to help you. Thank you very much and wish you all a happy World Diabetes Day.